Hello everyone, Gremlin Archer here. Time for a new series of Project Zomboid. We do something just a little different this time. Just just mixing it up a little bit. Um, I've got a few mods installed, not very many. I've just got the pillows random spawn. Um, Filibusters rhymes used cars this is a kind of a fun mod that adds a whole bunch of extra cars to the game. Uh, Kitsune's crossbow mod, which puts a crossbow in the game, which I'm not sure we'll actually use, but it it, it it's kind of fun to have there at least. And Raven Creek, which is a big uh, urban map. We're not going to necessarily start there unless Pillow's random spawn dumps us there. But I don't actually know if it has any uh, any spawn points for that. But I guess we'll find out. <laughs> but do a custom sandbox. Do the Knox County random start. All right, here's what I got for my, uh, for my sandbox options. Zombie Council listed as insane. The world darkness is dark at night. We have a sometimes helicopter, because helicopters are kind of fun to have to deal with periodically. R loot rarity is all set to extremely rare, so we should have a lot of scrounging we have to do. We got infection instant, uh, zombies can trigger house mods, and no respawn. And I think I slowed this down, if I remember correctly, the population modifier is a little lower. Or slower, I can't remember what I did there. I did something. Yeah, there you go. Also, just for fun, I'm gonna turn the blood level up to ultra gore. This often turn in, often ends up being kind of hilarious looking, but that's what we're gonna go with. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take electrician, basically because I never take electrician, and I'd actually like to try to do some bomb stuff in this challenge. Or it's not really a challenge, but this playthrough, just because I've never done it before, I'm curious to see. Um, it's kind of a waste of points in a lot of ways because I don't think the bombs are actually very strong from what I've heard. But we're going to try it anyway. So we're going to take Electrician because it opens up some options to us. And then we are High Thirst, Restless Sleeper, Slow Healer, Prone to Illness, Smoker, Weak, weak Stomach, and Slow Reader. And we will have Outdoorsman, Lucky, Fast Learner, Stout, and Hunter as our positive traits. I never really take Hunter, but we're going to try it. Let's see what I think about it. Scott Flores. This is our this is our dude here, Scott Flores. I guess we'll just jump in and see what happens. So one of the things I want to focus on in this run is um, spears. I'm not going to go so far as to say that we can't use anything but spears, but I'm going to prioritize doing spear-based weaponry at all possible, with the exception of doing some projectiles. So basically, spears, guns, and bombs. Those are, those are our, our weapon options today in this particular run-through. So we're going to give it a shot and see how it goes. Oh. This is not where I expected to be. I think I, I think I might know where we are already, but I won't know that for absolute sure until we get outside. I think this is Rosewood in the like mall area of, or like the, the like the downtown part of Rosewood. I'm pretty sure. Well, we're going to be all set on medical supplies just to begin with. That'll be nice. It's a nice thing to not have to worry about right away. Put on the blue medical cap, sure why not. Boop. Like I'm wearing a shower cap. Will serve no purpose other than to uh, make us look funny. There's a certain amount of joy to be had in that. Just looking funny. So I'm gonna go across the back here to the other, next door over. Because there's there's more loot to be had in these various stores. We just have to, to find it. I'm gonna avoid the front. I'm I'm 90, 90, 99 percent sure we're in the Rosewood area now. Ooh, ice cream. I'm just gonna eat that. Got high thirst, so it's always a good idea to take a drink when you get the option. I don't think there's gonna be anything useful here. I should probably just move on to the next place. That goes upstairs. That actually could be kind of helpful. Oh, 
think there's going to be anything. This is a hair cutting place. Which will give us more scissor options and probably some hair dye, but that's about it. Some nails. Mop. Safety goggles. Safety first, everybody. Got some food now. I'm gonna try and do what I wanted to do last challenge, which was to have continue to collect money to eventually ah cigarettes and a lighter right away. That's good too. Eventually have a bag full like a. I wanted to do a suitcase full of money, but if we can't find a suitcase, it's gonna be a duffel bag full of money, because last time we were not able to find a suitcase. Alright, since we haven't been bothered by the zombies so far, let's just try to go upstairs in this place. This might be a bad idea. We might running for the hills is probably the best safer choice, but we're gonna go we're gonna try this to begin with. Get really lucky. Maybe we'll find a backpack of some variety. Or do you know that magazine? It's come from one of our skills. There's a lot of food and stuff in here, but without a bag, I don't really think we can carry much more than we're already carrying, food-wise. So I'm mostly just checking for usable weapons. time it is. I don't know how close we are to noon. Shame to miss the next TV show, but potential issue. Running is probably a bad idea. This building will be zombie free, by the way. Any building you start in is guaranteed to be zombie free. Unless the game glitches up or zombies break in after you, uh, Start. That's also a possibility. <laughs> but hey, there you go, baseball bat. Like I said, I'm not. I'm. I'm aiming to to prioritize spears, but we're not gonna. I'm not gonna lock myself in. Oh, there's a suitcase. Never mind. Yeah, we could never find a suitcase in the other game, but we now have already found a suitcase to fill full of money. We'll switch to a beret for my medical cap. And clip on bow tie. Why not? It looks it looks snazzy. I can't see it, unfortunately. Well, I gotta start by putting some uh, putting our first piece of money in the suitcase. <laughs> it's our our uh, suitcase full of money. Oh, we got uh, TV time, it looks like, probably, since that just came on. Oh, zombie broke in downstairs. All right, woodcraft. It's exactly what I wanted. Gotta get our our free skill points. There we go. Goodbye. I 
I can hear a very, very far away. I can hear an alarm, a uh, alarm going off. So a zombie somewhere at the very edge of our reality bubble has set off an alarm. Try to get through this qu relatively quickly and out into the world. Bucket hat. Oh, that's way better. Yeah. Now we're a cool looking dude. Where's that, uh... Where'd the beret go? There it is. Alright, we're done with this entire building. I mean, we're not actually done. There's lots of food still here, but we can't take it. So we're, we're done as much as we're gonna be done with this entire building for the moment. Now let's try to get out of here without getting killed. I see that our the door that we came through is broken, but nobody seems to be there, so... We're just gonna walk. We're just gonna go for a walk. We're using the baseball hat one-handed, which is not the way you want to use it, but it's better than not having a weapon, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. Can't go to book naked, unfortunately. There'll be any cars in this parking lot that are useful. There are technically cars in the parking lot. How useful they are. It's probably not at all, but <laughs> we'll, uh, I'll check if I can. Which I probably can't because we got zombies behind us, but we'll see. A jack. Come on. Well, that's surprising. Was not expecting to find a working vehicle so quickly, but that's okay. We'll go with it. We have almost no gasoline, but almost no gasoline is not no gasoline. <laughs> I love Ultra Gore. I don't know if you noticed how far that splattered when we hit him, but it's pretty great. We're gonna go to that house that I love. It's just down the street here. Just to begin with. I almost made that drift look like it was good, like good, good job. All right, stop here for now. Can't believe we found a working vehicle that fast. Anybody in here? Yes. Answers yes. <gasps> so much blood. And there's the house key too. Nice. Anybody else here? What was that? My only friend. Seems to be my only friend. Alright, let's drop some junk off and then go take care of that other house slightly to the south. Alright, we don't need our suitcase right now, so let's just place that right there on the table. Or on the ground behind it. That'll work too. Why not? Alright, we go take care of this house. Apparently had a zombie in it, because they are now outside. Hello, zombie. Have you met my friend Baseball Bat? This is Louie. Louisville Slugger. Come 
Come on out, zombie. No? Oh, there we go. Second there, I thought she wasn't going to come outside. Hey, there we go. Already a watch, too. Man, everything's coming up Millhouse on this run. Probably means we'll die soon. get too dehydrated. I can take this now because we're not going to be going very far. I'd like to think we're already past the need for dog food, but let's be safe. Let's be smart, let's be safe. Alright, I wonder if we can get in close enough to fill this car up with gasoline at the gas station. It would be very nice to be able to get into there and fill up just so we have options. I don't really want to stay around Rosewood. I spent most of the last game we played around Rosewood. So it would be nice if we could go somewhere different. Um, to do that, we're going to need uh, gasoline. And I'd like to do it relatively soon because uh, I have a tendency to get settled if I don't. So let's see if we can head back over there and actually get some gas. Alright, if I drive into this field and honk, I wonder if we can lead zombies from over by the gas station over here or not? If I was prepared to make a fire, we could clear out a lot of zombies all at once. But I'm not prepared for a fire right now. I'm just going to try and swing around. I'm not sure how well this will work, but I'm going to try and swing around to the gas station from the other side. The other side of the big pile of zombies. This seems to be kind of the edge of where they were moving on their own. Oh. Yeah, so it's still a whole bunch of zombies here. They're just hanging out. This is not going to work so much. Here's what we're gonna do. Just leave the car here. So much blood. Run, 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 run. Alright, I'm gonna have to take this group away. It's too many zombies for me to fight this early on in the game. Come on, boys and girls, we're in this direction. pull these zombies from the back over here too that'd be helpful otherwise they're likely to follow me back close to that building when we go I'm trying to get a screenshot. I'm planning for my thumbnail, damn it. Alright, we're 
and take this group away and then circle back. Crouch run. Probably doesn't do a lot in the middle of an empty field, but somewhat decreases our visibility. Yeah, they're still following me. Of course they are. Why wouldn't they be? So technically I'm breaking line of sight right here. It's probably not doing a lot, but maybe it'll help. Might have lost a few of them at least. I think we may have actually lost the bulk of them. Yeah, we lost the bulk of them. That's one guy stayed on me. So that's where line of sight's really important right there. You can see how it is. They get, went right to the spot where they last saw me and now they're just standing there. Except for the smart, smart zombie here stayed on top of me. Rest of them, however, not so smart. All right, as much as I want to, would love to focus on looting this place, I think I need to, if I want gas, I'm gonna have to focus on getting gas. Unless this door is open, which it is, okay. Hey, vitamins. Andy, where's that? I saw it, I saw it, where are you? There you are, empty gas can. Any more cash for our, our money money bags? Yeah, two money this time. Well. It's five zombies. I can probably kill them. Oh, it's nice to not be exhausted. <laughs> My last challenge was a no sleep challenge where I was exhausted all the time. It's nice to not be that way. Uh, I guess we should hold on to the watches. We're not... We don't have to do the, the early grind of electronics like we normally do, so it's... Watches are slightly less important, but uh... And apparently I'm too far away, but that's okay. I can take fuel in the, in the can. Oh, nope. Just I parked on the wrong side. <laughs> Sides of the car mixed up. And very sweaty. Inefficient way to do it? Absolutely. It's okay, though. Oh, you still got space? I for sure would be out of space at that point. Alright, that's good enough. Oh, it's only three quarters of the way. Wow. I thought for sure we were almost full. This car's not in great shape. Engine keeps shutting off, but that's okay. Let's check to see if these uh these things have anything worth in it. Nope. Could have been a magazine or a book or something. Usually magazines. Books aren't that often, but sometimes. Sometimes there's books.
Hey, we even got the TV show, too. I was worried we would pass to some other thing that was playing it at some point, but not. We'll get our little bit of uh, skill up here. Fishing. Incredibly useful skill I never use. Okay, so this was a... Uh, we're off to a good start here. So next time we'll probably make a bunch of spears, because, you know, I intend to stick with spears for the most part, even if we are using a baseball bat for the moment. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll close up shop here. Thanks so much for joining me. Hope you have a good time. Um, if you enjoy the series, please hit the like button. It helps out a great deal. We'll be uh, continuing on in the future. Thanks so much.